day student i'll be your biology teacher for today and the topic for today's lesson is variation in population by the end of the lesson you will be able to state what you understand by the words variation and population mention the two types of variation discuss briefly the two types of variation give examples of the two types of variation Distinguish between continuous and discontinuous variation with examples. Discuss the application of variation to everyday life of human being. Variation in population. Variation can be defined as the differences which exist between organisms of the same species. While population can be defined as a group of organisms of the same species living in a specified area within a given period of time. The concept behind variation in population is that no two organisms of the same species are exactly alike. Individual organisms vary both in appearance and in physiological features. Types of variation. There are two major types of variation. Morphological variation Physiological variation. 1. Morphological variation. Morphology is the branch of biology which studies the physical appearance of organisms. Therefore, the differences noticeable in the physical appearance of organisms are called morphological variation. 2. Physiological variation. Physiology is the branch of biology that deals with the normal functions of living organisms and their parts or the way in which a living organism or bodily part functions. Thus, the different ways individuals of the same species behave or functions as far as their bodies are concerned are called physiological variation. Morphological variation can be continuous. This is the type of variation which change gradually from one extreme to another. That is, in any human population, there is gradual change in height from the tallest to the smallest individual. While physiological variation can be discontinuous, this is the type of variation which can bring about the division of any population into two or more distinct groups without any intermediate stages in between. Example is the ability to roll the tongue. Examples of variation. Examples of morphological variation. 1. Height of the body. 2. Shape of various parts of the body, that is, head, mouth, nose, jaw, eyes, hair, legs, and hands. 3. Fingerprints, which could be hatch, wall, or loop. Students, study the diagrams above and carry out the following activity to identify your fingerprint. On a plain paper, draw five boxes and label them as thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Use your biro to paint your left finger tips one after the other and apply each painted finger tips onto the boxes drawn according to their label. Study carefully and identify your prints. 4. Size of various parts of the body. 5. Color of parts of the body, that is, the skin, eyes, and air. 6. Weight of individuals. In plants, we have the following morphological variation examples. 1. Height of plants. 2. Shape of various parts of the plants, that is, stem, root, leaves, flowers, and fruits. 3. Size of various parts of the plant, that is, stem, roots, leaves, fruits, 
and flowers. 4. Color or parts of the plants, such as green, white, and brown color of leaves, stems, and roots. We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back, students. We'll continue from where we stopped. Examples of physiological variation include 1. Behavior. Organisms, particularly humans, could be aggressive or non-aggressive, excitable or calm, timid or brave, caring or uncaring, intelligent or stupid. 2. Ability to roll the tongue. 3. Ability to close one eye and keep the other open. 4. Ability to move the ears without moving the head. 5. Ability to taste a chemical substance called phenylthalcabamide, PTC. 6. Differences in blood groups. In humans, there are four blood groups known as A, B, A, B, and O. Examples of discontinuous variation in plants. Color of leaves, color of flowers, color of fruits, color of seeds, shapes of fruits and seeds. Causes of variation. There are two major causes of variation. One, genetic differences. This involves traits inherited from parents. No two offsprings in sexual reproduction inherit exactly the same combination of characteristics from their parents. 2. Influence of the environment. Factors that influences in the environment are housing, food, health care, educational facilities, parental care, etc. Application of variation. Variation has wide application in human life and they include 1. Crime detection In crime detection, the knowledge of variation can be used by the police or crime detectors to trace criminals. Example, features like height, color of skin, hair, eyes and types of fingerprints, rolling of the tongue, and differences in blood group can be used to detect criminals. Fingerprint usage is based on the fact that no two individuals have exactly the same fingerprints and that fingerprints remain unchanged throughout one's lifetime. 2. Blood transfusion. There are four main blood groups. A B, A, B, and O. Each person belongs to one of these four groups depending on the presence or absence of certain antigens in their red blood cells and antibodies in their plasma. The table below shows the different blood groups, their antigens and antibodies. Blood group O is a recessive blood group, while blood groups A and B are dominant blood groups. Knowledge of the blood groups and their compositions are very important in blood transfusion. When someone loses a lot of blood, for example, as a result of road accident, the doctor may carry out blood transfusion. It gives the patient recipient, blood from another person, donor. Before transfusion, the blood of the donor is tested to ensure compatibility. Blood group A, having antigen A and antibody B, is compatible with another blood group A with same antigen and antibody, but incompatible with blood group B having antigen B and antibody A. If an incompatible blood is given to a recipient, the recipient's blood, red blood cells 
would agglutinate or clump together. This can cause death as the blood vessels become blocked and blood can no longer circulate. Examples of blood groups and their compatibility or incompatibility. Blood group A is compatible with blood groups A and O and incompatible with blood groups B and AB. Blood group B is compatible with blood groups B and O and incompatible with blood groups A and AB. We'll be back after the short break. You're welcome back students. We'll continue from where we stopped. Blood group AB is compatible with all blood groups and incompatible with none. Blood group O is compatible with blood group O and incompatible with blood groups A, B, and AB. From the above examples, you notice that blood group O can give blood to any blood group and they are thus sometimes called universal donors. While blood group AB can accept blood from all blood groups and thus sometimes called universal receptors. Other areas where variation finds application is in three, paternity determination. In cases where the paternity of a child is in dispute, knowledge of blood group is usually applied to resolve the dispute. For example, if a woman claims a certain man is the father of a child, but he denies it, the man may be cleared as a suspect by taking blood samples from all three. Suppose the child proves to be group AB and the mother group A. Then if the man is group O or group A, it cannot be the father of the child. If he is group B, he may be the father. 4. In agriculture, animal and plant breeders make use of variation in animals and crops to develop better breeds of animals and varieties of crops that have high yield, taste, are disease resistant, are well adapted to their environment, etc. Example is the development of annual cassava crop from biennial crops. 5. In classification of humans into four basic races, the Caucasoids, the negroids, the mongoloids, the australoids. In summary, we've learned the definitions of population and variation, types of variation, examples of variation, application of variation. Students, answer the following questions. One, what do you understand by variation and population? Two, state the two major types of variation. Three, distinguish between continuous and discontinuous variations with examples. Four, discuss the application of variation in human life. For further studies, Visit the following websites. 1. www.encyclopedia.com 2. www.simple.m.wikipedia.org 3. www.britannica.com and 4. www.nature.com 
Bye-bye, students.